Hey guys, so we are here. We're actually at Sam's. And we're gonna buy supplies and stuff for the people, for our customers. <laughs> right? Not a guest? Yeah, because guest is getting free. Customers true. paid for these things. True, true. Stand? true, true. Hey guys! You're here in mid. Let me see you. So, let we go. That's what you say. Let we go. Let we go. Let we go. Then you can sell. I want to take your ass in the shower now, no man. Out in. Out in. Yeah, I'm in on the way. So, in out? Out in. No, in. In out, yeah. Ready? Go. Any means necessary. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> Kinda, sorta.
this is how we're looking all onto State Road 953 South towards State Road 836 East. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Why the freak is it giving me sun pass? I don't want that. No, I don't want to use that. Oh my God.
once again good morning guys i don't know why i'm trying to get back to the hotel and it's making me take the toll but i didn't i didn't go to the airport using the toll so why did i have to use the toll why do i have to oh my god that's so ridiculous so ridiculous but it's okay just left Jay at the airport I am so sad that she's leaving because I had a good time I had a great time as you will see um, it was such a learning experience for me as well because there's so much stuff that I need to work on so it's
understand. They always want to let you pay money. At the next light, turn right. Always want you to pay money. And I didn't pay anything going to the airport. I took the local road. So I'm gonna, I'm probably just going to have to invest in a sun pass or something. But the thing is, I don't go on the, on the toll. What the freak is he driving like that so far behind me in his bike? You need to relax. At the light, turn right onto Northwest 107th Avenue. Almost like you want to hijack me or something. Yeah, as I was saying, guys, I don't want to invest in a sun pass because I don't go anywhere that much to be using a sun, pa a sun pass. I am so tired. Yeah, when I go to work, one straight road to and from work. I don't, church is not far. Church is 10 minutes away. School is not, is online. What am I, where am I going? The only time I'm going is some special occasion or whatever that is. But I really don't use the, the toll that much. Like I'm coming here now, I will use the toll. But anywhere else, Walmart is five minutes. Publix is three minutes. Sam's is five minutes. Ross is ten minutes. Actually, seven minutes. So I'm not going anywhere to use a sun pass, to pay for a sun pass that much. But then it's so annoying when you don't have it and then you get all these bills. But I mean, you still get the bills, but. Guys, my girls look so good. Listen, these pictures from Carnival is fire, okay? Fire, fire. That was one of my girls. Guys, it was fun. It was a fun experience. It was a learning experience. It was a lesson, a lesson learned that we need, I need to plan better because I had a lot of hiccups, but thank God for grace and, you know, thank God because of who he is for me because if God was like man and... It would be nice if God was like man. He's always so gracious to me, always so wonderful, always so kind, always such a gentleman. So I am so happy for that, so grateful for that because, yes. God, thank you so much for being so gracious, so kind to me, so gentle. Even when I mess up, you don't condemn me. I don't know what, what people do without having or knowing or getting to know God in their life. I don't know. I don't know how they function, how they deal with stress and anxiety. Because honestly, before carnival... Right before the day, I was being so anxious. And I'm like, what is going on with me? Like, why am I being so anxious? And as soon as I said a prayer, I said, God, please take away the anxiety. And you said to cast my cares on you because you care. So I'm giving every, every thought, every worry, every fear to you. And as soon as I pray that in Jesus' name, gone. So that's why I'm saying I don't know how, how how people live without not knowing God. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how they do it. Because it's not easy having so much cares on yourself. And then you'd have no one to, to cast it on. No, I mean, you can cast it on someone. But they do not understand completely what you are going through. And that's the thing that gets me. I'm like, if I didn't have, have God as my savior, as my help, as my fortress, as my help in the time of trouble, what would I do? How do I manage 
my anxiety? How do I manage my fears? How do I manage my worries? Who do I play them on? And the alarm, alarm, time to wake up. <laughs> yeah, how do I, how do I do that? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how, how they do that. How do they manage their fears, manage their anxieties, manage their worries, manage their stress? And, and another thing too, God is the only person that is able to take um, control and to actually do something. You know, like you tell your friends, oh, I feel so worried. They're like, why are you worried? Don't be worried. Yes, it's okay to tell your friends how you feel, but God must be the one that you can always rely on, the one that you can always go to for help. You know what I mean? Like, I'm so glad I'm still getting to know who God is in my life and who he is in general. And that's why I'm trying to read my Bible more, trying to pray more. And I just want to say I so admire Shani because Shani does her prayer and fasting. I, I know it's not perfect all the time because she said, oh, I forgot to do this or that. But I admire her wanting to get to know God more. And that motiv motivates me to want to get to know God more too because I'm seeing how she's operating in a different way. And how she's letting God use her. And I want to be used by God, guys. Like, that would be the best thing. And I never really said this. But um, I am on the praise team at church. Well, I am was. <laughs> am was. Um. And I don't, I don't sing anymore, but I feel like God had it that way so I could actually, so I, I could minister to myself because I have a voice that a lot of people, it touches and people always ask me, oh, when are you going back on the praise to you? And I tell them, I don't know. Uh -huh. And I just felt like maybe God thought that I wasn't ministering to myself. I was just ministering to other people. And he probably, th th he probably, he probably knows something's in my eye. Probably knows that I needed to minister to myself as well because I would go, I would practice, I would um, go home and then we're up again and it's time to worship. But I'm trying to say what happened to myself. I didn't minister to myself with my own voice. I didn't minister to my soul to let my soul know that it is okay and God is going to take care of me. And I will be fine. God is going to set in place everything that concerns me. I wasn't doing that for myself. I was just doing that as a ministry. But I forgot to minister to myself. So God sat me in a corner. And yeah. So that is it, guys. I'm going to go upstairs now. I'm actually honestly really tired. I'm probably going to still take a nap and go to the pool. And then I'm going to pack up and go. So, I will catch you guys. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching.